Hello, I'm Ashley from Ash Adventure and summer is finally and officially in full swing. I'm located in Chicago and we have had turbulent weather ranging from like 50 degrees to 60 degrees off and on since April and it is finally summer weather and I'm talking about that Crisco heat, that broken fire hydrant kids playing in the street heat, that go to the beach you hear the bell it's the paleta man with the cart passing by type heat yes and with this beautiful weather you know that travel is also in full swing i just want to tell you all something that i enjoy as a foodie and as someone who likes to travel for food Time Out market is something that i incorporate anytime I go to a city where there is a timeout market. So, back in May, I went on a trip to Montreal. It was my first time going there. And it was kind of by chance. I initially wanted to go to Vancouver. I had been to Vancouver and I just love the outdoorsiness of it, but tickets, flights, all that stuff, it was, it, flights were doing too much. So me, my mom, and my sister, we opted for Montreal and we had an absolute blast. But let's get into timeout market. So mind you, I'm also comparing timeout market in Chicago. So timeout market has a few different locations around the world. There's one in Chicago, there's one in Lisbon, there's one in Montreal, New York, Boston, and Miami and Dubai. And I think they're building another one somewhere else. But what timeout market is, it's basically like a food hall for the city. And you can go there and explore different kind of cuisines and restaurants from well-known chefs and up-and-coming chefs from that specific city. So if you're new to a city and you really don't know the cuisine and things like that, it's best to, or if, and if you are near a timeout market, I would say try it. You get to explore the city's food. However, um, and this is also biased because I'm currently, I'm in Chicago, but I'm also born and raised Chicago. I'm a Chicago native. So I'm basing these things, one, the Montreal as a tourist and the Chicago comparison as a native. So the timeout market in Montreal is in the downtown center area. I believe it is a part of the connected to the underground city and people from Montreal let me know what the underground city is when I was there I was in that mall area and I was asking somebody I'm like where's the underground part and they were like what what are you talking about so um it's just I, I believe it's just a an underground walkway to all of the different malls within the city so you could basically walk a few blocks underground through a passageway, passageway. So it's in the downtown location. Um, it's bustling, it's lit. You walk in and it's in a mall. Uh, you go up es an escalator and it's basically like what they were able to do is that they were able to incorporate it as the um, food court of that specific mall. But it's also timeout. You go up and there's an ice cream stand and you just see just like seats all around you and behind you. So that is the look and feel of Montreal. The timeout market in Chicago is actually located away from downtown. It is in Restaurant Row, aka Fulton Market, aka West Loop. Um, and a long time ago, it was a meat packing district. It was just dirty and grimy and literally just warehouses everywhere. And they have transformed it into an area where you can go to to experience some of Chicago's best restaurants. 
and it is a lot <clears throat> also another thing about that specific area it, it originally started as restaurant row and now it has become like this tech hub uh google ended up like building a building literally right next to the timeout market so the location for me vibe wise creates more of like a lunch spot whereas the timeout market in montreal was more uh, uh catered to tourists or just people shopping and it seemed just like more inviting and open for you to just like you know just have a good time whereas i've been to the timeout market in chicago to work like sit on my laptop and like eat something good it just gives me more so happy hour vibes also um how the place is situated so the montreal location i think what makes it super super unique is that for your beverages you have a soda station you have a beer area you have a cocktail bar and on the other side you have a wine bar if you are someone like me who is who has like very different tastes I'm always want to experience things I like the fact that I could go to the wine bar even though I did not show I could go to the wine bar and ask it because it was probably a sommelier there I could ask them hey what would I pair with this and what could I pair with that the one in Chicago I'm not sure if they have those options but it's just one big bar where you get beer on taps you get your cocktails you get your non-alcoholic beverages and you get your wine in Montreal you could go over here if you're a beer person over there if you're a wine person and over here if you're a cocktail person I did get a cocktail it was phenomenal even the cocktails in Chicago are good now the restaurants um, and like I said this is this opinion is a little bit biased so the timeout market in Chicago has I don't I don't even recall seeing one Chicago staple I think it's one place called big kids which like sort of does their own spin on the Italian beef. I think they call it a uh, Chicago Philly. Um, but nothing that's like stands out that Chicago. I know. Hold on for a second. I know non-Chicago folks, y'all get mad when we talk about our food culture or talk about our pizzas, stuff like that. No, I'm not asking Time Out Market to bring pizza there because there are a thousand places where you could order pizza however <clears throat> we have sweet steak we <laughs> we have rainbow cone we have um Berghoff. we have x checker we have um what else what else what else oh pearl's place we have Veloys. There are so many like, I, I call these just like old school Chicago spots that if you just incorporate one, best believe you are going to, you're going to enjoy it. Best believe people will come. Like, that's the only thing. Like, there's a lot of new age Chicago up and coming, but you don't see any of the old school like the the restaurants that have been around for over 50 60 years that are still running on the outskirts of the city now i can't speak to what's new and what's old in montreal however i will say they did have a diverse array of food so i ended up getting grill uh i hope i said that wrong. great grill or grill from uh paul toussaint which is a Haitian restaurant. It was, mm, that was my first time having Haitian cuisine. Man, that was good. And then I also got a second helping because my mom, she was walking around while we were sipping on our cocktails and she brought back some sushi. I was like, where's this from? Le Blossom. 
it was fresh crispy fulfilling like i have acquired a taste for fresh sushi i cannot go back to corner store and i wouldn't even say corner store just like you know when you've had bad sushi it's just overcooked like it's overcooked it's not fresh but the way that they make sushi like they went into the water caught that fish that's how it felt that's how it tasted it was just absolutely delicious from the last time that i was at the chicago locations um the things that have stuck out the most for me um was amar lulamaru and uh bargoa and that's uh indian cuisine bargoa has indian cuisine and people talk about it just even outside of the timeout market space people are always talking about bargoa and then um little amaru which is latin american cuisine i feel like those are the most experimental like really just like whoa type flavors however i did look on the timeout chicago website and they now have damara which is a awesome delicious ethiopian restaurant located on the north side in the uptown neighborhood so one thing about timeout market within itself and that's another thing i forgot to mention is that they're always rotating um different restaurants i'm not sure if it's up to the vendors or the restaurant owners themselves if they sign like a six month contract three month contract whatever it is but one thing that you can always count on is that there's always something new popping up and it, it's a vibe um at both locations they have djs um the one the thing with the one in chicago was that there's a you have your main floor which all houses all of your seating and so literally everyone is sitting in one space and then you have your stalls around you the dj will be uh perched up top on the second floor balcony and will be like bringing you know you look up and you see the dj playing vibes and then like the location in uh montreal is that there is the escalators and then all around it's much much bigger um square footage and much larger space and there's seating over here over there over there and we were actually um uh space we were actually sitting across from the dj so just in general i feel like timeout market or going to a timeout market is a great way to introduce you to the culinary culture of the city that you are um, visiting and i just wanted to share that experience if you are in a city where there is a timeout market please comment below and let me know your thoughts on it let me know if i should go to it because you know i'm always down for a good meal so Yes, um, like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more. Peace.